Hello everyone. Today in this episode of Shooter series, I am going to rework on this control mapping. So this part was actually working before, but after I migrate the project into Unreal 5.3, the control mapping part was broken due to some of the changes in enhanced input system interfaces API. So I am gonna restore that today. So now as you can see here, we can see all the controls and we can modify them so for example for this w if i use up arrow and apply go back and resume now when i press w it's no longer moving up moving forward but if i press up arrow it's moving forward now so again if i go here to the controls and press reset to default note that up is now shown as the move forward key if i reset to default w appears here and now if i go back and resume now i can move again with w also pay attention to that here now let me put eight num eight oh. and if i try to go back now i get do you want to apply change settings so if i press yes this will be applied yes now with 8 we can move and also pay attention here now you can see num8 sda instead of wsda so those things are dynamically connected so no matter whatever the change i do when i show input tips they will be displayed correctly again go back here controls reset to default back receive now we can move with usual inputs so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel to the date there are over 1700 videos for each video project file is accessible for you in the patreon page feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below okay so now at the moment what happens is when i play the game we can go to the post menu and set in and check the controls and nothing appears here so that's because there were some changes in 5.31 on enhanced input system api so because of that the system that i had i had developed before to get the controls in the runtime is not working so let's fix that now i have implemented menu system in this folder under wdg controls so here you see if this is working correctly correctly i should already see a set of inputs here but i don't see any of them so this part this init keys basically this is the event responsible for extracting the inputs from the system and displaying them this is how it works and this get all mappable action key mappings this is no longer there anymore for some reason i mean it, the function is there but it doesn't return anything so what i can return is here is there is another variable calls mappings this and just like i was iterating through this return value before i can iterate through this mappings in the same way i was doing before now if i compile now you see these inputs appear but this is not what i want to see as the input basically what it shows is the name of the input as if i have defined let me go to the inputs here it's under enhanced input so these names this input action object names that's what i see here so instead of that what i want to see is for example if i open this i drop here 
there is a setting called player mappable key settings and it is set to none if i set it to player mappable key settings now we have few more additional fields available so under the name i can put drop item uh, the name is already in use by imc default that means here yeah. this one i think even though i have defined this name here this is the default settings the settings that i actually use is defined in this imc player uh, these are called input mapping context it's a data asset so here also i have already defined them move forward move forward now what we can try to do is instead of trying to get the name here in it key if i go inside here i get this I break down the key map in and from the action I try to access display name but this used to return that display name I had defined but now it's not the way that uh, working so what I can do is let me add a new input parameter here I'll call it input name and maybe in a string then i'll directly plug it here okay now these parts are not required but still if i go to design a view of the controls now nothing appears the reason nothing appears is let me see if i get anything any errors no uh, so the reason that nothing appears is even though i have defined this display name and everything for the inputs for some reason it only takes these player mappable key settings from the values that I define here to test that let me find the move forward wait hold on I have to actually give something to this input I haven't done it so yet so it mappable key settings and uh, from this we have these variables and under these variable settings we have display category display name metadata get name and supported key profiles so let me get display name so this is same as what we see here name display name metadata display category so these are the values that i see there so if I take this and put it here let me compile see I see move forward and because I think in the move forward input I actually have a value defined let's see here this I am moment oh it's none oh right so I do have a value here move forward move forward move backward let me add move backward here save and compile oh nice i got more backward now okay now just like this i have to make sure that i have added these display names and names name values to each of these inputs so i'll pause the recording and do that and one thing i notice is even though here i have defined as override settings if i have something here for example moment moment save now let's see what happens it still works nice I remember I am having some difficulty when I already have some values there not getting the actual values but yeah we can forget about that issue now it's working nicely well actually why don't we save the trouble of adding the display name and go here can we get mappable key settings just like before and get name put it here 
no yeah we got all the things we needed so this part actually and it is not needed awesome let me remove that so none I don't think I should allow modifying them therefore here if I check this ILO these mouse settings here we don't actually have mappable key settings because of that we don't have any value to show that's why it is none so what we can do is here is action key mapping player mappable we can add a branch to check this condition only if this is true we should show this in under controls so now if i go to the designer view compile now you don't we don't have that move mouse inputs okay that's done now let's test if the input mapping changes actually take effect so controls we can see the controls let's change this to numpad date apply back why did it ask again to do you want to apply the changes anyway let's do that yeah input changes are applied i'm pressing the uh, eight now numpad eight to move forward if i stop the game and again go to settings controls yeah this is here reset to this day uh, default and go back yeah now i can move with wsda all right ah i remember the reason so here from the key we have this has changed function this is what is used to determine if we have any unapplied changes for each key changes so I think we need another custom event here okay so basically what this need to do is set the new key which is key as into this old key because this is the condition that I check when I want to check if I have any unchanged or unapplied key changes then when i apply the controls here let's do this apply key all right now let's test okay press p to pause settings controls let me change this again to numpad 8 for testing and if i apply and back yeah now i didn't get that confirmation dialog and the things are working now i'm pressing 8 to move forward if i press p again settings controls reset to default and this time if i try to go back uh, when i press reset to default it automatically applies okay now let's test with something else 9 and go back yeah do you want to apply the change settings if i press yes this should be applied if i press no it should not be now if i go back controls yeah it's still w because i did not apply all right so things are working as expected and we can wrap up this episode now so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for you to download in the veteran page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.